bragging. Trump just did IT. He said it was treason. Enjoy Gitmo. President Trump's first year in office has been filled with turmoil from the liberal plot to pin some sort of illegal activity on him. It is the prerogative of law enforcement and the legislative branch to investigate any person, no matter how powerful, if they think that there might be collusion at play. However, that power is being abused to the point that the investigation is dragged out like a PR nightmare for the person being investigated. In the case of President Trump, his entire tenure as president has been spent running the free world while fighting off one allegation after another. The most prominent of which is the special counsel into Russian collusion headed up by Robert Mueller. Even though the president welcomed that investigation at the start and it became more evident that they were just on a witch hunt. Needless to say, most people have grown tired of it. The most recent information in that investigation doesn't reflect badly on the president as the liberals had so earnestly hoped. Instead, the very team investigating the president was compromised. The president commented in an interview Thursday with The Wall Street Journal that he would go so far as to say that an FBI agent who was removed from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigative team is guilty of treason. The Daily Mail reports that this comes after the text messages of the agent were released in the course of the investigation. He was referring to Peter Stursog, an FBI agent who had been assigned to work on Mueller's team investigating potential ties between Russia and the Trump campaign. A man is tweeting to his lover that if, Hillary Clinton, loses, we'll essentially do the insurance policy. We'll go to phase two and we'll get this guy out of office, Trump said. This is the FBI we're talking about, that is treason. That is a treasonous act. What he tweeted to his lover is a treasonous act, Trump added, confusing text messages and tweets. Strzok was removed last summer following the discovery of anti-Trump text messages he exchanged with an FBI lawyer who was also assigned to the team. Treason is defined in law as aiding an enemy of the United States. That investigation might seem vague or convenient for President Trump considering that he's being investigated by this team. However, the evidence is not lacking in specificity. In fact, Republican investigators have poured over the text messages between the two agents who were working on the probe and consequently sleeping together. Buried among the 10,000 text messages between the pair are several that make reference to specific journalists, parse articles mentioning the Bureau and include language that could indicate advanced knowledge of publication of news stories. Strzok, deputy head of counterintelligence at the FBI, got reassigned from the Russia probe after it was discovered he had exchanged anti-Trump messages with FBI lawyer Lisa Page, with whom he was having an affair. Strzok got reassigned to the FBI's Human Resources Department in August. Another message refers to a Washington Post article that laid out a timeline for the Hillary Clinton probe. Sorry, Rybitsky called, Page wrote, mentioning the FBI's chief of staff. Timeline article in the Post is super specific and not good. Doesn't make sense because I didn't have specific information to give. Those messages would lead one to believe that Strzok didn't actually have the information that they needed to do an investigation. Someone just decided that they wanted to do an investigation, and they worked out the dirty little details later. That means that if they decided they wanted to investigate him first, it was a political hit, not a necessary evil in the quest for justice, as the left would have us believe. Republicans have been gearing up probes of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigators, as well as those who played a role in the creation of the Golden Showers dossier compiled by ex-British intelligence officer Christopher Steele. In another email reviewed by The Hill, Strzok texted Page about an article mentioning the Bureau. Yep, the whole tone is anti-boo. Just a tiny bit from us, he wrote. Page texted in response, makes me feel way less bad about throwing him under the bus to the forthcoming CF article using an abbreviation that is unclear. Congressional investigators want to know whether the pair had advanced knowledge of articles that appeared, according to the paper. What have we learned here today? We have learned that you must rise early in the morning if you want to frame the President of the United States, but that doesn't mean you'll be successful. Also, just because you're sleeping with someone, that doesn't mean the legal marital privilege extends to them. Extends to them.